When I first arrived in the organisation, uh, one of the residents told me that uh, what made me think that at 97 that they thought events should stop at half past three in the afternoon. I've spent a lot of time with the residents over the last year and I think what's, what's been really important has been being able to listen to their views about how they see the organisation working in the future. The archery sessions are a good example of where we've listened to what residents want. Well, the original idea came mostly from watching the Olympic Games and uh, I believe that we could probably introduce it amongst the residents here. When we were first asked did we want to do archery, I decided no, I wouldn't because I felt sure with my back, I wouldn't be able to do it. Ordinary an organisation would probably say no due to health and safety reasons. We didn't, we said how. The first thing that we did in support of Colin is tell him that anything was possible and that we could work together to uh, organise the archery. He made the initial contact with Paul Maines from Gordano Valley Archers. Colin's idea of, of introducing archery to the retiring community is a fantastic idea. The engagement of the residents uh, has been fantastic. The enthusiasm has been amazing. So we're always trying to innovate. We're always trying to learn what's happening, what's going to, what's going to be the next thing that's going to make people's lives better. The five-year plan is simple and straightforward. It has some really core cool themes. The first is that we have to meet existing and new customer expectations. We want to spend money wisely and effectively. We need to attract and retain the staff, so we need to have a good staff offer. What's really important is being able to listen to their views about how they see the organisation working in the future. The review process is about listening to people's views. How are, we, how are we doing? What do we need to change? How do we move things forward? If you stop listening to your customers and you stop listening to your staff, you cease to be relevant. We need to be an exciting place to work, so growth and innovation fits in, in with that criteria. The Chocolate Quarter will be our fifth retirement village. It will be an evolution and a learning from all of the existing retirement villages brought into reality in our vision. I want everyone to be engaged, to feel that they can influence how the trust develops, to ensure that residents are truly at the heart of the development of their own village. The archery sessions have proved so popular at Sanford that we spread to the other villages. But what we're going to do is use that as a basis to provide even more activities in different areas for the residents. And I think at the end of those five years, we're going to be the best organisation in the sector. I should be uh, up there going for the final, going for the world. <laughs>